thank you for joining with us for another noon devotional. And uh, first of all, let me say I hope you had a great Easter. We sure had a great Easter at church. It was so good to see so many people back. And we had a tremendous number of people that stood and made their professions of faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus. So it was a great and a glorious time. Well, today I have Charlie Joe with me, and, and uh, she and I are going to do a little devotion together. And what I had in mind was I thought, well, when this devotion is shown, even though we're recording it on Easter Sunday afternoon, it will be played uh, later in that week. So I thought, you know, we need to talk a little bit about what happened after that Sunday, after that resurrection. Well, actually, what we want to talk about started on that very day. If you remember, it's in Luke chapter 24. It's a great chapter. Uh, on the same day of the resurrection, we read about these two men are traveling from Jerusalem back to this little village, this little town called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. And as they walked along on the Emmaus Road, the Bible tells us that, that Jesus just all of a sudden appeared. This is after the resurrection. And they didn't know it was Jesus. And, and uh, they walked along and had this conversation. We won't go into all that conversation. But they never did know it was Jesus. And then it was the end of the day, so they invited him to their home and to eat and the bible tells us that when jesus took the bread and began to break it that they recognized and realized it was jesus i think they saw the nail prints in his hands when he broke the bread and i think that's how they realized all at once it was jesus now i share that and this is what i want charlie joe now to do because in our life there are many times that things happen or we have feelings and at the moment, when we first have the feeling, we may not think, well, God gave me the feeling. But then if we move and if we kind of follow that feeling, then we realize, hey, that's what God told me to do. Now, Charlie Joe, you shared with me an experience like that just a few weeks ago. Will you share it with the people? Yes. Yeah, so this was at night, um, some point after dinner. I was feeling lonely for some reason. I don't really know why. But God just said, Go read your Bible. Go read your Bible. At that moment, I didn't really want to, but he kept saying, Go read your Bible. Go read your Bible. So I ended up going upstairs to my room, and I read the Bible, and it just spoke to me in such an amazing way. Like, he just said, Why are you lonely? I mean, there's no reason to be lonely or afraid. I'm right here next to you. And for the rest of that night, I literally felt like the Holy Spirit was just right next to me. It was amazing. And that is an amazing testimony. And if you stop and think you have thoughts, you've had experiences like that before when God just puts a feeling into you, or maybe it's a thought goes through your mind, I need to do something, or I should do something. It may not even be what you want to do. But you feel strongly about it, and you do it. And you realize, hey, God put that thought into me, and that's exactly what happened to you. So here's, here's the bottom line. We're moving now beyond uh, the resurrection. We're moving beyond Easter. But look, uh, God, God's alive, and whether it be through the Bible or through a song or a sermon or a circumstance or a feeling or whatever, God impresses us to do things and... And sometimes it may just be reading the Bible and you read along something, you've read it before and all of a sudden it just jumps off the page and you think, hey, I need to, boy, I needed this, I needed that. That's God speaking to you. And Charlie Joe, that was a great night when you had that feeling, was yes. it not? Well, what we need to do is pray for more of those kind of feelings. Well, be that as it may, give it some thought, have a great rest of this day and uh, I look forward to being with you next time.